Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right, fuck it, I'm going in. Hold up, hold up for a minute. I said, hold up, hold up for a minute. I said, hold up, hold up for a minute. We can roll blunts on the shitter. Uh, what's up? So, this is a 2006 CBR 600 Double R. Just like it says in the description, you will need a multimeter and if you want, like on my first video I did of this series, a set of wires with alligator clips on both sides. You don't have to have this, you will need a multimeter. Also, make sure your side fairings are off both sides and your tank fairing. Get those fucking off there. You don't need to completely remove your actual tank. But the first things you want to check are your fuses. Now the first fuse you're going to want to check is your starter solenoid fuse, which is your main 30 amp fuse. I have this because these are just kind of a pain in the ass. And this is just your starter solenoid, which is just located behind your battery. Get that off there. And there's a 30 amp fuse right in there. You can see that. It's going to pull it out. Check it. Looks good. Now if you're not positive if your fuse is bad or good or not, you can just take your multimeter, set it to read ohms. This is a shitty one. Some people are fortunate enough to have a good one that does a beep test. I stick these together, it goes to zero. So there's a connection. Stick that to one side. So that's a good fuse. Put that back in there. That's one problem eliminated. 30 amp fuse is good. Next you're going to want to check your other sub fuses which are just located on the side here and you're going to check the star bank angle sensor fuse which is a 10 amp fuse. Located one, two, third one up. That is this guy right here. This fuse looks good to me, but we're gonna check just in case. And just do a continuity test on the fuse just to make sure. And that fuse is good. Now that we know the 30 amp fuse and the 10, 10 amp fuse is good, we're gonna check the actual fuel pump cable underneath the tank which is why I wanted you to undo those bolts so you can lift up the tank and have access to that plug and unplug it. I'm going to start by moving this nut here off the fuel tank and you go on the other side and you do the exact same with the opposite side bolt that I showed you. Now we're going to proceed. So when you lift your tank up Right in there is this power cord. You want to unplug this. It's just a clip. You clip wire. You just want to unplug that. That is to actually power the fuel pump. And that's this plug right here, which is attaches to the bottom of the fuel pump there. So you had those unplugged. So, so you just want to take your multimeter Turn it on, set it to read of volts. Then, the actual part to your wire harness that you unplugged from your fuel pump, brown is negative, green is positive. So brown is ground, green is power. So you're gonna wanna use, touch your negative of your voltmeter to that prong on the end that corresponds with the brown plug and the exact same thing with the green. This is this is why I like to have the alligator clips. Because I can just stick it on one.
and I can touch it to the other. Now when I turn the ignition on, I should get, for like half a second or a second, a spike of power, which would be the equivalent to my fuel pump priming. And if I don't get a sudden spike of power, then I know my fuel pump is fine. If I do get a sudden spike of power, then my fuel pump might be shot. And nothing. Now, just to be safe, even though I didn't get a sudden spike of power coming out of my wire harness that would be able to prime my fuel pump, if you want to just make sure to make sh that your fuel pump is actually fine, you can actually hook it directly up to the battery and get it to turn on for a blitz of a second. I'm not going to actually do it because I have fuel in there and it's not attached to my bike so it would literally just pour out of the uh, pour out of the, the bottom there but I will show you which wires. So if you take one wire and put it on the end on this one here which is a solid black with a white line that's the negative. If you put that to the negative side of a battery and this yellow one with the red stripe stick a wire in the end of that and attach it to the positive side of a battery it's going to turn your pump on now just do it for a second you just want to check to see if your pump actually works so the black with the white stripe is negative and the yellow wire with the red stripe is positive so you just hook those up to the battery just to check to see if your pump actually turns on real quick then disconnect it but if you do that, you hook it up to those wires and just hook it up to your battery, positive and negative. You can turn it on for a split of a second, your pump will turn on. As long as you have the power on, it'll keep running. So just do it for a split second. That test indicated that we're not getting power at all. My pump works, so we're not getting power at all to my actual pump. So we're going to go on and check the next test, which is actually the kill switch itself, the stop start. Alright, so for checking the engine start stop switch which is on your handlebars, just follow the cable along that goes from the actual switch to the plug itself. This is why you want to have your fairings off. Unplug that. Now the tube wires you want to test, there's a white wire with a black stripe and then there is a solid black wire. You want to follow or find the corresponding prongs that they are and you're going to want to have your multimeter turn it on and set to reading ohms. You can tell right now there's an open circuit close is reading zero. So with these prongs here black white so I'm going to want to test these ones and right now I have the engine stop off, so there should be a closed circuit, or an open circuit, sorry, and it's reading one. I'm going to turn it on, so that would be start, and you can tell it is reading zero. So I know for, without a doubt, 100% fact, my start-stop switch actually works, 100%. So that's off. Now we're testing the solid black wire and the white wire with the black stripe. You can see one, that's an open circuit. We're going to close it and have the engine stop in start mode. And it's, this should be zero as an open circuit. Boom. Alright, so now we've checked the 30 amp fuse, the 10 amp sub fuse, we've checked the fuel pump. We know it's not getting power at all, but the fuel pump actually works. We've checked the engine stop start switch, we know that works and we got continuity as we turn it on and off. So that's good. So in our next video, and in the descriptions of these videos, I'm going to have the parts and a link to each video in order so you can follow along as I put out these videos. And in the next video we're going to check the engine stop start relay 
and the fuel stop relay as well as a few other things so it's gonna be good hopefully we figured out your problem if not we will get to it because we still got troubleshooting to do because my bike's still not starting peace